Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Dan Harkins, and I got some gameplay here on Comeback. That is Team Deathmatch, obviously. It's pretty much the only mode I play in this game. With the Handy Danny AMR9 Dynamo Edition. This is a gun that fires fast. Which doesn't really mean anything. It means that I can get more hit markers quickly. That way, I can get killed faster and die. Some of these variants in this game don't make a lot of sense. Take the S12 Tiger Blood. It's a shotgun that has a faster fire rate, but it takes damage and accuracy away. On the S12, which already has terrible damage and terrible range, and even most of the time, your whole magazine won't kill somebody. So that gun doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And within the next few weeks, we know they're going to be putting out a patch to hopefully buff up some of these weapons to make them a little bit more competitive. But more often than not, when trying to balance out weapons, you still end up making a weapon that just far exceeds all the other weapons. It's really difficult. And I think one of the difficulties and the reason weapon balancing has always been kind of a bitch is there's too many fucking attachments and perks that make weapons that should be a specific class kind of do it all. Every gun should have its niche on what it does well. Submachine guns great in that close quarter, medium combat. You have the assault rifles for medium to long range. You have your sniper rifles for long range. You have your light machine gun for heavy suppressive fire and good for long range. But then you got some machine guns with quick draw and stock and they're just fucking wrecking the shit out of people with sniper rifles from afar and that just isn't balanced here's the thing they need to do they need to reduce the amount of attachments you can have on the weapon yeah I'm, I'm not gonna be too happy about it but it would make more sense guns should be in a specific spot in this game where they're good but they shouldn't be able to overpower other weapons in their ideal combat effective range so if I'm getting killed by a sniper from across the map, that's cool. If I'm getting killed by someone using a sniper rifle up close, doesn't make a lot of sense and vice versa. Shotguns should win up close engagements, but they shouldn't be able to snipe you. And it, it's really tough for shotguns because they, they're always gonna be a big bitch when it comes to Call of Duty because no matter how you bounce them, people are gonna be upset. If you allow them to have that long range, everyone's going to be like, Oh, you're fucking gay. You're using this stupid shotgun that can kill me far away. Or if you buff it, or should I say, if you nerf it to the point where you have to be up someone's ass, and they're like, well, this is useless. I have to get so close. And, and that's the issue. So there, there's a lot of weapon balancing that needs to be done in this game. And I feel, personally, that they need to take away the ability to bring up your sights quicker and moving during aiming shouldn't be allowed. It, it just fucks up the whole flow. If, you, if you've noticed from Modern Warfare 3 onwards, it's been a real pain in the ass. People just zoom in and they got the gun up automatically while they, they're in a, in a room. It, a lot of the tactical play of Call of Duty has been diminished over the years. And we've come to a point where it's a lot of run and gunning, quick scope, and a lot of shit that just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, if you go back to Call of Duty 4 and try to play it the same way, it is fairly difficult. You run into a room, your gun's not up, you're getting blasted. So before people got to rooms, they would bring it up, they'd enter, you know, shit like that. And you just don't see that enough. People just come in, and, and they kill you. And, and that's really what's been frustrating. Not just me, but a lot of people in the community it is running into these people. Quick scopers, I mean, they're always going to be here. Uh, they shouldn't make it easier, but they shouldn't on also penalize people that want to do traditional scope uh, sniping by having you scope in at some random place. I mean, that, that hurts me, you know, if I'm trying to snipe somebody and when I zoom in, it's like not even where I'm, I'm trying to zoom in. I, I get killed a lot doing that. So I think that needs to be put in place. But overall, I like this game three months in. I don't hate it. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can be done. Better net coding, 
you know, just having a smoother online experience is always what I'm looking at. But overall, it's a fun game. I'm almost at 8th prestige, which, you know, at least says, hey, I'm playing this game. I'm enjoying it enough to keep playing it. Because uh, if I don't like it, I just kind of stop. And you see that with Ghost. And I don't hate Call of Duty Ghost. Just wasn't really exciting. It's, you know, we got from Black Ops 2 really fun exciting game and then we came down to ghosts and it was like oh you know the weapons are cool hit detection's nice but there really wasn't a lot of energy in that game like it's a lot of people camp because of how big the maps were and i mean yeah camping's going to be in every first person shooter but it was really bad people would throw ieds you'd run over them you'd fucking die they'd have dogs it's tough but i feel that perhaps call of duty is gonna go the way of Guitar Hero soon. I mean, as sales go down, people are like, you know what, this isn't it. Even I'm kind of getting sick of of playing Call of Duty. And then, I mean, they introduced you know, the XM movements. I thought that was really cool. But it, it turned a lot of people off who didn't want to adapt to it. Uh, at first, I was like, I don't like this shit at all. But I really got used to it. But I run into a lot of uh, moments where I just wish it wasn't in the game. And yeah, you can go play classic mode. I've played it. But, you know, the, the maps, you play in classic, these maps feel really different. And you just feel, like, restricted. So it's really kind of dumb to play in a classic mode. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right for this game. So I, I'm really excited to see how Treyarch's going to handle the next game. I like Treyarch. Some people are really on the fence. They don't like the net coding. Yeah, it hasn't been fantastic, but... You know what? You, you just deal with it and, and go with it. And that's really what I want to talk about this Friday. I'm going to uh, win this game here because this guy went for that care package. Doesn't make sense. We're so close. I mean, he shouldn't have gone for that. He could have just killed me, but uh, I guess he wanted that care package at the very end. Alright, well... YouTube, thanks for checking this out. And uh, leave some feedback on what do you think. Should they keep attachments or should they get rid of them? Peace.